Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cat Blind. In the last episode, we were on our way to Mount Krennel, but we happened to get a little bit sidetracked here in Hyrule Town. We talked to a few people, and we got introduced to Kinstone Pieces, which is, I guess, is like fusing two pieces together to make things happen, and that's kind of cool. In this episode, hopefully we're going to make our way to Mount Krennel, and I do apologize for being absent in the last week and a half or so. I had a lot of personal things going on. I actually had to watch the last episode to get caught up with what I was supposed to be doing here. And uh, let's go ahead and continue what we're supposed to be doing here. <laughs> like, I've been talking a little bit too much. Uh, let's see. Oh. If the mountain is anything like those woods, there will be monsters ahead. I'm not really busting a seam to see this Malari, but we have no choice. I was pressing the select button thinking that a map was going to appear, and it didn't. So there we go. We need to go to the west. And it turns out that Mount Krennel is this area. I thought it was this area down here. So, shows how much I pay attention, right? But uh, let's make our way out of here. Hopefully we can get out of here pretty easily. And I believe it's this way, right? Because I think that was someone was telling me in the comments that we're supposed to go this way. Oh, so you've learned the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Okay. That is not my sword. Hold it down and then spin. Yeah, that's the one. But there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure that you're careful. Well, I hope so. Ooh. We got some monsters here. Get out of here. Nobody wants to deal with you. Could do a little bit of exploration. What is over here? What? I see a bomb wall. I can't not pass this up. I have one bomb left, so this better be worth it. Let's see here. Uh, what is going on? I think I'm supposed to use my shield, right? Just like an Ocarina of Time, right? Go ahead, fire. There you go. Uh, okay, you got me. Let's make it up to you. You can have this most deluxe of all bottles for only 20 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Yes, please. You got an empty bottle used to store all sorts of things. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you for basically almost killing me. But I will take my empty bottle and uh, continue on with my life. Uh, what are we doing with this? Can't push. Can't pull it. Can't swing with it. It's got to be something that has to do with these. But maybe I can't do anything about that just yet. So I'm going to have to come back a little bit later. Maybe when I can do something about that. But anyways, we're on an adventure. Let's take a look at the map again. So we just gotta keep on going through. That's what we're doing. Got some enemies, of course. We got the water, which we can't cross, which is unfortunate. There's stuff down there. Can I like, oh, that's right. I can pick these up. That's kind of cool. Got rupees. We got, oh, there's something down there. Is there anything over in these rocks? Or are these just here for show? You never know. We are on the lookout for kinstone pieces now. Oh, hello. Get out of here. Got another one of these seashells. You guys were telling me that I don't need to worry about this side quest right now that involves the seashells. But I heard it's tedious, as you guys were saying. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind for a little bit later as well. Is there any... It might, is this even worth doing for anything? Just picking up all these rocks? You never know. See, they're hiding seashells, but I'm wondering if there's going to be like anything important in those rocks. Eh, it's fine. Uh, oh, there's something here that's closed, man. Well, it's fine. We'll go this way. Ooh, Mount Krennel's base. And I don't have a bomb! Or is that what these are? Are these bombs? No. I can climb these, which is cool. There's a rupee. But there's nothing else here. Man, I don't have a bomb, though. So, how am I going to do this? I think I'm gonna need water, right? Hmm, we just got a bottle, didn't we not? Can I, like, pick up the water? I can! You can put water in your bottle. Sprinkle on different things. Sure. Man, simple, simple logic is what this is. I need a bomb for that. Hopefully I can find one so I can come back to that. Hopefully it's important. Here we have some more enemies. Get out of here, please. We have falling rocks, which isn't fun. 
dangerous. No climbing. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I can't actually climb. I was gonna say, don't mind if I do, but it didn't happen. Uh, these are definitely. Oh, man, I need more bombs, man. Maybe y yes, yes, we got five bombs. Thank you. I was just saying to myself, I'm gonna need some bombs, and the the, the game just provides for me, and I do appreciate that. So let's go ahead and see what's behind these bomba walls. And hopefully we get something decent. Ooh! I mean, I guess I can now store fairies. Which I'm actually going... To oh, wow, they respawn too? That's insane. Give me one. You caught a fairy in your bottle. This winged friend will come to your aid if your life energy is depleted. Oh, you bet. You bet I'm going to need fairies. You know how much I die, at least in the earlier stages of the Zelda games, because, you know, I don't have enough hearts yet to really do much. But now that I have a fairy in a bottle, I should be safe for a little while. I'm hoping that's the case, at least. Let's see what's in here. Another guy. I do have rupees now, so you know what? Maybe we'll get something good out of this. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in a cave just east of here in Shrilby Highlands has an item. If you're planning on going up Mount Crenel, I think you might need it. It won't get you to the top, but it might just give you a start. What? Cave just east of here and the trib Trilby? And a cave just east of here. I think I just got that. That was the empty bottle, wasn't it? I think we've already done that. I think. Unless I'm missing something else, but it looks like I've already done it. So I'm not going to really get too crazy about it. Uh, we have these spikes, which do damage. I'm wondering if this thing can stop that. It can! Dude, what can I not do right now? I can basically do everything in the whole game. I can beat the final boss. We're not really going to be doing all that. Beware crumbling walls. Blasting strictly prohibited. Boy, ain't nobody want to deal with all that nonsense. Because that is proper sentences I'm speaking here. We got like tornadoes that remind me of Superstar Saga, because you have those in that game. We have a cave. Dude, how many of these guys exist? Hello. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by selling you bombs. Ten of it for 30 rupees. No! If I can find regular bombs out in the in the field for free. Why in the world do I need bombs for? Unless I need bombs coming up here, but hopefully I'll have enough to handle whatever comes my way. The cave music is kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's grab this. And go. Perfect. See, that wasn't too bad. Hmm. Let's go up the stairs then. What are these guys? Once you've pulled off their iron masks, those guys are no trouble whatsoever. Uh, how do I do? Do I just do this? Oh, sure enough. Man, I'm like, I'm deducing. I am all of the deducing. And wow, I could even... Wow, this is crazy. Come here, sir. I just want to throw this at you. I, I missed. All right, give me your helmet. See you later. Die. Thank you. Is there anything behind these pots? Luckily, they're not in houses, so it's not like I can, you know, break other people's pots. I can break the pots that just happen to exist out here in a cave of randomness, but I'll take what I can get. What are we doing here? Hmm? Hmm! Oh, of course! How silly of me! Hey, my boy! Jump into that whirlwind over there for me! Hehe, <laughs> I wonder, is this a great idea or a terrible one? I don't actually know. And oh boy, a chew jelly! Get out of here! Uh, sure. Oh, oh. Uh. Am I supposed to just... Hmm. Well, I completely missed that mark there. Whatever I was supposed to be doing there, I completely didn't even do what I was supposed to do. So let me try that again. This time with a little bit more feeling and a little less sucking. Because that would be great. I'm guessing I have to use the whirlwind to go into the other whirlwind to get on top of the platform, right? Is what it seems like, anyway. But let's find out. Go, Link! Go, go, go! There we go. Perfect. 
See? Man, I know exactly what I'm doing. Who needs help? Me, actually. I kind of need all of it. Uh, let's see. Anything in here? No. Anything here? I'm always checking to make sure I don't miss anything. Because I really would hate to miss stuff. But I'm hoping it's easier... Or it's easy to go back to if things if I miss them. Hmm. And there's a lot of branching paths too, which made me, which makes me believe. What is going on over here? Hmm. Oh, hello. Okay. That's definitely going to be important when I have the ability to become small. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Speaking of small, I haven't been able to do that in a hot minute, so I'm wondering when I get that ability to do that again. Because th there is definitely stuff here that I gotta do, I'm sure, to get some stuff. Oh! Well, that answers all of my questions. Let's shrink! Can I, like, skip this cutscene? Doesn't look like I can skip that. But, now that we have the ability to become small, we can see what's in those little crevices. So this perfectly normal looking stone was another portal to the Minish World. There may be other rock portals. Keep your eyes peeled, boy. Boy? Who are you call him boy? I am not Kratos. Or Kratos' son. Oh, there is stuff here. Hello! Is this the thing? Water is life for krennel beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them. But the green beans like Mount Krennel mineral water. Mount Krennel mineral water can be found only in the spring here on Mount Krennel. Well, really, this spring is closer to the base of Mount Krennel. We got a kinstone piece! These mystic stones are said to bring happiness! How many of these could we collect at a time, I wonder? Not sure. But at least we got a kinstone piece. I, did I just get hit just to get brought back into the cave? Cause that's hilarious. Alrighty, well now that I'm small, let's see what's up here. Oh, there is stuff in here. It's a cave filled with wonders and all kinds of things. And I could fall. Luckily, in this game, it brings you back to the to the specific spot before you fell, and that's really nice. But there's got to be stuff. There's got to be something here. There's no way. There's a treasure chest. Another kinstone piece. Let me check. Are these things on my map by chance? Oh, I got it in my kinstone bag. So it looks like I'm gonna have to do something with these at some point. So when I find an NPC that has like a kinstone piece hovering on their head, I think. Is one I'm supposed to fuse? I wonder how many there are total in the whole game. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to them unless it's required. And in that case, well, gotta do it, I suppose. But uh, let's see what we gotta do. I, I believe that was all really optional. I don't think any of that was required by any means. Unless, again, the kinstone pieces are required. Um, is there a point to staying small now, or can I go back to being big? Oh, you fall down there and you're having a hard time. Okay. Well, I'm going to become big again. Because I don't see any reason to be small, at least at this moment. And uh, let's continue. So we need Mount Krennel water, which I'm assuming is what that is. Or mineral water, yeah? That's what we need. Which means that bottle with that fairy in it is not going to serve much purpose. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to let you go, fairy. I'll take a little bit of healing in the process, though. That's nice. Get out of here. What's up here? Uh, there's nothing here. Oddly suspicious looking for a bomb, perhaps? Dude, I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> oh, there's a heart piece right here. Uh, I need to... Br I don't want to... Oh, I wasted a whole bomb. Oh, and you know what? That's important. Okay. We got a kinstone piece. But I need more bombs! Aw, oh, butter biscuits. Dang. Well, now I have to find more bombs. Which means I have to... F you know what? I really don't want to be paying that guy. Aw, oh, dude. I gotta pay him, don't I? Aw, oh, where is that guy? Where's that guy that sells bombs? Unless I get one from this guy right now. Then, uh, that's good. But otherwise, I'm gonna be in a distraught. If he doesn't drop any bombs. No? Oh, dude. This isn't good. I need bombs. That's not the bombs. Where are the bombs, man? 
Actually, I need to go over there. That's the Mount Crenel water, ain't it? And I need a bomb for that. Oh, butter. Well, I have to do this. I never thought in my whole life I would have to buy bombs from this guy. But it seems I didn't really have an option. Because I think we got a bunch of things to blow up here. One of the things is, I'm guessing, right over here. This god, this has to be a bombable place. Because the sign said don't bomb stuff. Look at that, dude. Alright, so what do we have in this cave? We're gonna need a lot of bombs, anyway. Uh, we're gonna need to blow this up with bombs. And then... We'll go in here. Man, just this whole ordeal is already, like... I don't know. I feel like this is- I can't believe I missed this on the first time through. At least, I didn't go the whole episode without noticing it, or else I would have been really upset. And I would have been stuck for a hot second. But here we are, I went back and realized what I needed to do. Because I saw this, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna do. So, we're gonna need to pick up some mineral water, I'm guessing, for the beans. And this is a pretty good place to start. Uh, let's see. Got a good old empty bottle. And we pick up some Mount Cradle mineral water in your bottle. It's piping hot. Oh, and you can't swim in it because that's bad. Now, I'm wondering if this water has, like, some sort of time limit that, like, depletes after a certain time. Or is it going to be useful forever? Hmm. Not exactly sure on that. Well, we do have more bombs, which means we can go back to where we're supposed to go up here. Is it up here or is it down? Where am I? What am I even doing? Good lord, man. Uh, let's grab this. And we need to go back to that one area that had those three chests in it. Because we need bombs for that. Now, I'm hoping that this guy sells bombs indefinitely. Or is it just like a one-time payment? But if it isn't a one-time payment. And we can keep buying more bombs. That would be really cool. But if we can only get one set of bombs. Then, then that might be an issue. It might be a slight issue. But we'll go ahead and check that out really quick, and I think that's going to be a good place to end this episode. I think we've done a lot of progress on Mount Crenel for now. And of course, if I did miss anything while we're here, let me know in the comments. That would be really nice. And uh, where was I going? This way, I believe. That had the uh, that one... Yep, this cave right here that had the treasure chest in it. So let's go and bomb this up. We need that heart piece, which is definitely what we're after. There we go. Got ourselves a heart piece. And in here, I'm guessing it's a kinstone. Nope, it's 50 rupees. Hey, I will take it. Good stuff. Alrighty. So I think this is going to be a good place to end things off. Next time on... I almost said Mojora's Mask for some reason. Next time on the Minish Cap Blind, we're going to continue climbing up Mount Crenel. And we need to meet that Malari Minish person thing. And hopefully we can do that next time as well. That would be really freaking sweet. On that note, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more of the Minish Cat Blind. I will see you guys then.